What's going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP and in today's video we're going to talk about resin print from Sanix 3D on the GK2 with uniformation gray resin and we'll get into it right after this. Welcome back makers. I'm excited about resin printing. I've got my GK2 resin printer from Uniformation. I've had it for quite a while. Been printing some beautiful models on it. And in this video today, we're going to be printing some cool stuff from Sanix. I'm going to jump over to Sanix's website and I'm going to show you a lot of the stuff that he has real quick. We're going to check out Uniformation Gray Resin over on Amazon. This stuff is printing amazing. Pour and go. And at the time of this video, it's on sale for like $14.99. It's marked down on a special down from like 25 bucks. It's printing perfect. It's pour and go. That's the kind of resin I like. I don't like to have to tweak settings and go through all this stuff. I like to shake it up, pour it, start printing, and have flawless prints. And that's what I've got here today. So let me show you their website real quick, where you can pick this up on Amazon, show you some time lapses, and then I'll show you one of my prints as it comes off the build plate, what the quality looks, looks like. We'll come right back here. We'll do close-ups on all this. And the video won't be an hour long, or a half hour long, or 20 minutes long. We'll get right through it. I think you're going to enjoy it. So please stick around, and here we go. Okay, here we, over, here we are over on Sanix 3D's website. And I've been printing models from Sanix since 2017. And let's scroll down here and show you some of its work. Now, this Iron Panther, I don't know if I have enough reds to do it also. I may, but I would like to do that one. Let's see. Immortal Friends. We got Wolverine and Deadpool here. I'm going to do that. Inquisitor. War Machine. I'm going to be doing him. That's a for sure. And let's see here. This one, Bad Dreams Halloween Project. I may do that. Have to wait and see how it goes with the resin. But if I don't do it today in this video, I will do it at a later date. And this T60, this here looks really cool. The T60. And I want to do the T60. And jumping over on Amazon, Amazon.com here in the U.S. Uniformation. Wow, it's on sale right now, 40% off. $14.99. Wow, that is crazy to be that cheap. Wow, normally $25 a bottle, $24.99. Wow, that's great. And I get free one-day delivery if I choose to get more. But they sent me out four. We're going to try it out see how it goes. But with all resins, I like to pour and go. I don't like having to tweak a million settings on my printer. And I'm using the Uniformation GK2 today. Or actually for probably the next week, all the printing I'll be doing. Take a minute to go burn up four bottles. And then Uniformation came out with their GK3 Ultra. I can't wait to try out that printer. Hopefully in the near future. It'll be double the build volume basically of the GK2. But yeah, wonderful machine. Great company. I love working with them. But we're going to try out the resin today. So let me uh, show you some files in Cheetah Box. Now when you get files from Sanix, whether you buy them individually or you get them on its Patreon, um, they, you can get, get them pre-sliced for Cheetah Box, pre-sliced for Lychee, or you can get the STL files themselves. Then you can support them and angle them and size them up or down however you want. I think today I'm going to try its pre-supported files. Typically I always get the STLs and I make them the size I choose, angle them how I want, and add the supports I want. And I always use um, dense, real dense supports and small supports. They got the small, the medium, and the large. I always use the small supports, do them very densely on the model. That way they're very easy to remove. I don't care for medium supports. I do not like heavy supports, definitely. But let's jump right over to Cheetah Box and we'll get going. Alrighty, we're in a resin room. We're all ready to go. I cleaned out the vat of the old resin hat in there. Always wear gloves for protection. Now, usually when I first fill the vat, I don't wear gloves, but it's a good practice. Always wear blue gloves. They're not expensive. Wear safety glasses, whether they be like this or wear goggles. You don't want to ever get splashed. Always be safe. And be in a well ventilated area. Now, when I clean up resin, I only use blue shop towels. They're not harsh, they don't scratch like a paper towel. And I always use spray away glass cleaner 
This will eat up the resin, dissolve it. You make a spill. When I clean out the vat, in back in the bottle, I'll use a funnel. I'll put a filter in it to filter out the resin, make sure there's no debris getting back in the bottle. I'll use a soft silicone scraper to scrape out the vat. Once it's completely clean, I spray it with the uh, sprayway glass cleaner. Use a blue, blue shop towel and, and completely wipe it out. If you don't have that available, IPA will work. You can use IPA to clean it out. Isopropyl alcohol. So anyway, you move that out of the way and we'll get going. Shake up your bottle very well, which I've just done. I sh shook it up for about 30 seconds. Take off the lid. Have a safety, let's see, a protective foil cap. You can take a spatula, simply cut it like an X. Since I'm wearing gloves, just peel it in out of the way. Wipe off the tip of my glove there. Now the fill line on GK2, there's an angled ramp. You don't want to run all the way up the ramp. So basically you can fill it right to the top line and then stop. Now as you're printing, once the vat has been printing for a few hours, the build plate comes down. Once it's out of the vat, if I have to go to bed at night or something and I don't want it to run out overnight, I can fill the vat up pretty much as high as I want. Just remember when the print's done, if it's too high, you'll have to suck off or drain off some of that resin. So when you start the next print, you're not too high. Alrighty. And it took about a little over half the bottle. So that's good and ready to go. And another thing I do quite often is on my FEP, I use, uh, where's that? Rain-X. A lot of times on my FEP to help relieve any kind of popping or suction problems. Once it's all cleaned out, I'll take a few drops of Rain-X, put in it, take a blue shop towel, wipe it around very good, and then I can pour my resin in. It just helps to cut down the suction issue, and I think it's always worked really well for me. So now I'm going to set up my resin laps. I've got a cord here I bought from Uncle Jesse a long time ago. If, it, if, if the camera will do it this time, I'm going to film it in the resin lapse, and you'll see it growing. If it doesn't work, which last time I had trouble on my new Canon camera, I'll just take random pictures as it's growing. So uh, let's get going. Here we go. We find the file, and we'll get printing. In the heart of the desert where the lights shine bright 3D HP in Vegas, innovation takes flight Got my GK2 printer, Uniformation's the key Layer by layer, creating magic with glee Uniformation, resin flow is so smooth Precision and power, it's in the groove From the Vegas strip to my workshop floor With each flick of the switch, the magic unfolds Complex designs, all oh, the stories they hold In the world of 3D, we're pushing the bounds At the expo in Vegas, creativity surrounds Cause uniformation resin flowing so smooth Precision and power, it's in the groove From the Vegas strip to my workshop floor 3D dreams built, always wanting more Switch, the magic unfolds complex design so the stories they hold Alrighty, the second set of parts got done for the model and I have to print one more set after this to get them all completed let's see how it came out everything looks good I see we have small supports and medium supports and all of this typically whenever I get a model from anybody or, or the files I always uh, use auto supports and they're always the small, light, dense supports. I never use medium or heavy, ever. But yeah, it's looking good. And once again, we'll close the cover for safety. We don't want any debris to land back in the resin. Wear your safety glasses, have your gloves on.
Make sure there's nothing on the build plate. Take the scraper, go over it really well. Grab a blue shop towel. Now for this, you can use regular paper towels. It doesn't really matter for this. Wipe off any excess resin. Make sure you didn't miss any pieces of support. Plate back on. This will be slides on. Lever locks it. We're going to double check the resin with the uh, silicone scraper. As you can see, it's a little full. Now this table's at a slight angle. That's why it's running high. I'll have to suck out some of that resin. I got a little bit too much in it for the next print. But once again, at night when I get ready to go to bed, I always add lots of resin. And since the build plate is out of the vat, you can add as much as you want as long as you don't go over the top. And then once the print's done, you know that you had plenty. And then you just suck out, you know, if you have too much in there, suck it out. But anyway, I just add what I think I need before I go to bed. Okay, let's take a look and see how they came out. They've all been glued together. I use super glue with a spray activator when I glue everything up. And of course, this is its natural format. It's not been primed. Came out simply amazing. Let's see if we can see all that detail there. Amazing work. You gotta be careful when handling it because all these tapestries hanging down. You don't want to break them by pressing against them when you pick up the model. But beautiful work. Yeah, the GK2 is 8K resin printer. Prints beautifully. And this uniformation standard gray resin. Not one problem. Not one broken support. No failed prints. Printed perfect from the get go. Amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you. It was a blast. I love working with my resin printer. And my GK2 8K resin printer is one of the best resin printers I've ever used. And as mentioned, I can't wait to try out the new GK3. Their resin is printing amazing and everything came out great. No fails, no problems whatsoever along the way. I'd like to thank all my channel subscribers. My channel members over on YouTube, I really appreciate each and every one of you. I'll show their names here on the screen. You guys are awesome. You rock. And yeah, I mean, I'm always printing something. I've been doing this for a very long time. I've got a lot of videos on my channel, and I hope you enjoy my content. Please consider liking and subscribing and sharing. And it's just been a lot of fun. I enjoy all that I do. And I hope to get time one of these days to get all these things painted. I have so many. <laughs> but... With the resin being on sale on Amazon, I just ordered three more bottles. They came yesterday. They came, as a matter of fact, they came the same day. Yeah, I ordered them early in the morning. They came that night, so that was really cool. Um, Uniformation may send me more of the resin to try out. There's no guarantees with anything, so I ordered three. It was on sale. The price is right, so I ordered three more bottles, and I can't wait to put out more great content to share with each and every one of you. So until next time, you guys have an awesome day. Happy resin printing. Later.
In the heart of the desert where the lights shine bright 3D HP in Vegas, innovation takes flight Got my GK2 printer, uniformation's the key Layer by layer, creating magic with glee Uniform